You know, and uh, considering the heat, uh, the Valley homeless, they struggle to stay cool, struggling to stay safe in the heat going on right now. Channel 5's Ryan Nelson found out what's being done to help them stay safe in the Valley. That's right. Today we spoke to a Valley homeless man. He stays strong through the pain and through the heat. Eric. Angel Ruiz knows job loss, cancer, and the death of his closest friend and relative. He's felt the hopelessness of a night on the streets. Today, he's fighting, working to get back on his feet. I recently was homeless last year for two months, and I lost my mom after, before I came homeless. I tried to give her CPR because she had a heart attack, but I couldn't bring her back, and I miss her. Ruiz says the valley heat makes homelessness even more difficult. Every year, they struggle to find a cool place. It's, it's unbearable, and we're just barely getting started in summer. You know, it's going to get worse. Finding a spot to cool off can be a tall task. Park benches, overpasses, and bridges are common options. Ruiz says nothing beats the air conditioning here at Loaves and Fishes in Harlingen. But this is basically the only coolest place you could come to to relax and then get out of the heat. The weight of their struggle can take a toll over time. When you're outside day after day for 10, 12 hours at a time, it doesn't cool off at night, uh, that, uh, that builds up. Bill Reagan oversees operations at Loaves and Fishes. People who need help can find meals and a place to stay here, 365 days per year. When we have extreme weather like this, uh, I keep the dining hall open all day during the day so that people can stay if they need to. So I just try to hang on every day, do what I can. Ruiz wants anyone in a similar situation to find a shelter in their area. Just a reminder, as Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith said earlier, Channel 5 News is partnering with HEB, -D HEB as we try to do our help to help those in need in colonias or the elderly beat the heat. You can purchase a fan and leave it in a collection bin, or you can bring in a fan you wish to donate. In the newsroom, excuse me, in the studio, Ryan Nelson, Channel 5 News at 5.